What's up beautiful people? I'm Erin and this is Erin On Demand and today we are talking about how to create stress-free content. Now, I feel like a lot of people, myself included, have experienced some point in their lives of content creation of just overthinking, causing yourself to be in your head and stressed out about what to post, when to post, where to post, how to post, what are the best trends, all of these different things that we get clouded with so many tips that it can just cause you to stress out and be like, you know what, skip it, I'm taking a break from social media altogether. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create really simple, stress-free content that really performs well, even though you don't have the extra layer of stress, okay? So let's get into it. Number one is to create a B-roll or stock video library. Now, this is such a game changer because on those days or weeks where you're focused on other parts of your life or other parts of your business, you have this stock library of clips that you can pull from and still create content with. So what does that stock or B-roll library consist of? So it can consist of anything from you cooking your favorite meal or walking your dog or sitting at your desk working or going grocery shopping or watching TV on the couch with your spouse. Like whatever your day-to-day -day activities look like, you can just record yourself doing them. You don't have to say anything to the camera. You don't have to even look at the camera. In fact, you shouldn't look at the camera. And you just save this into a folder. Now, what I would do is have different types of folders in this library. And based on whatever kind of content you wanna create with that, you can pull different images or different videos from that library. Now, we love using Smug Mug for our stock video and image library and by the way you can do this with images too i feel like back in the day when photos were the peak point of social media a lot of people were doing batch photo shoots brand photo shoots and it's really the same concept but just with video so um, we love to use Smug Mug, but you can use Google Drive, whatever, whatever is easiest for you to access these clips and just take them and curate your own message to put text on top of it. And you've got yourself a really good solid post. Now, the key to using B-roll video is that the text on top of the video has to really tell a story. It has to really pull people in. So with this type of content, it's less about the video necessarily necessarily and more about the messaging that this video is bringing to life so typically these stock videos have some type of text on screen and you don't even have to do voiceover or anything like that so that is what makes these so easy you just have to invest the time in actually doing the stock videos number two is to have a super simple video setup this is key if you want to be able to create content on a whim now a lot of times people get so caught up in all the gear that so many professional content creators or video creators have and you want to emulate that and you want that look however if you want to really become uh, consistent with your content and be more on the whim then make sure your setup is super simple so i love using the nikon z30 i think it's just such a great versatile camera so a lot of times i will just sit it in the corner of my desk and record a quick sit down video there i use it to vlog i use it for so many different types of video even reels and tiktoks i will turn it and use it for vertical video so this camera is just such a game changer plus it just packs a punch it has everything you need if you get the creator bundle it will come with a microphone a little tripod slash like grip that you can use for vlogging and it comes with a remote control so you can take those thumbnail images without needing a photographer there with you so i love the z30 the quality is amazing on top of the fact that it's just a really super easy camera to use. Now, when it comes to using your super simple camera setup, my best tip is to record wide. So the wider your shot is, so you see how wide my shot is right now? If I wanted to grab a clip from this and use it for a short or a reel or a TikTok and crop it vertical, I have enough space for that. Whereas if I was sitting like this in the shot, it would be way too close. 
So make sure if you are doing more formal sit down informational videos like this and you want to repurpose that content, which makes it so much easier to be on multiple platforms at once, then you need to be shooting wide so that way you can crop that video. Number three is to repost or recreate content that has already performed well. You do not have to overthink it, okay? When I tell you a piece of content performed well for a reason, we did multiple reels on marriage meetings and we probably will continue to do them because they always perform well. And this is a part of our lives and they're easy to create. And so when you have those pieces of content that are easy to create, or you can just simply repost it, do that because it takes the stress off and you know it's probably gonna perform well again. Number four is to pick your favorite platform and then focus on that, okay? You do not have to be everywhere all the time. Now, when I say focus on that platform, that doesn't mean that you don't have to be present at all on other platforms, but for me, as for me in my house, we focus on YouTube because we see the best outcomes with YouTube. We make the best money from AdSense off YouTube. We get the best partnerships from YouTube. So it makes the most sense to focus on YouTube. Plus, I just love creating on YouTube the most. So you need to find that platform for yourself. Now, if you are like me and you love YouTube, I have created a YouTube playbook all about how to monetize on YouTube and we go through everything we go through how to create your channel vision how to pinpoint your ideal subscriber finding your channel's vibe going through content layering i mean we really go through everything best gear thumbnails time trackers and just a lot of resources in this youtube playbook so if you are somebody who wants to dig deep into youtube and make that your main platform then i highly recommend you check out this youtube playbook because it's got all the gems that you need to get up and moving and monetized. Number five is one of my favorite types of content because it is so authentic. Now, what you're gonna do, I call this fly on the wall content. You ever thought about, like you ever know somebody who's really funny or like you meet a couple and you're just like, y'all are just so interesting. Like I would love to be a fly on the wall in your house. So think of your camera as a fly on the wall. Now, the fly on the wall means you're going to set your camera up and you're just going to press record and you're going to forget about it. Most of the time when you record when you're recording, you think you're thinking about it for the first minute or two if a camera is rolling, but after that, you kind of let your guard down. You don't know what you're going to say, what you're going to do, you don't know what's going to happen in that 20-ish minutes that your camera may be rolling. Now, with this, it may take some time to go back through the content or the video and kind of pluck out what the story is, but it is very easy video to create because it really represents who you are, it's not scripted, and it's just fun, you know? So think about creating fly on the wall content. Obviously you have to think about setting up the camera. Um, and you don't want it to feel staged, but if you're one of those people who has like a really interesting household where you've got some characters or you and your spouse has an interesting dynamic or your kids say the wildest things or do crazy stuff or your pet is super interesting, like this is the type of fun, relatable content that you can, you can get from um, this fly on the wall concept. So consider that because I think you will be surprised at how many good clips you can get. Number six is to zero in on a very light editing video format. So one of the ways that is super easy to do this is podcast style. And it doesn't even have to be as long as a podcast, but just pretend that you are only doing one take and you're like, I don't care if I kind of mess up a little bit or stumble over my words a little bit, that's part of my video style. And so this may take a little bit more prep work where you have to outline your video or you know make sure that everything is kind of set up perfectly, the lighting is great, you don't really have to add too much to it. Maybe you just add a title at the beginning and that's it. You don't have to do any heavy editing. Now, my husband and I actually do have a podcast. Um, it's called Sips of Success. And we love creating this content because it is so easy. We're just sitting there, we're talking, and very rarely do we have to do any heavy editing. Like all the time it's just like, 
taking out little pauses maybe or you know adding a little bit of text at the beginning of the video and that's it and it just goes up and it's so easy and fun number seven is repurposing old clips to tell a new story so this is kind of a little bit mix of the b-roll library with not being afraid to repost old content but it's kind of merging the two together so for example one that i did that performed really well was i shared my workspaces over the years and i started out in my parents home and their den and then my home office and then we got our own office space and then i returned to my home office and the overall message was like growth doesn't always mean more and so that reel performed so well and i just grabbed old clips from you know over the years so this is why it's also important to keep your video like your hard drives and wherever you store your video organized so you can go back and grab old clips to kind of show some different sequences or times in your lives or you know tell those stories that you need that old visual for and number eight is to create content that fits into your life okay this means that if you are on the go or if you are a busy wife or mom or a businesswoman and you know every day going up the elevator to your office or walking down the new york streets to your office is the main time that you will have to create content Figure out how you can say what you need to say in that amount of time. It may just be you using a little point and shoot camera like the Z30 as you're walking and you're just sharing what you're, what's on your mind for the day or something that was inspiring to you. Like you're using that little 15, 20 minutes that you're walking as your time to create content. And this is really so important for you to be consistent because the less you have to think about content and stress about it, the easier it is for you to be consistent and actually enjoy the process of creating. And you will learn that it doesn't take all the bells and whistles to create good content. Most of the time people are focused so much on what the content looks like instead of how the content feels and the feeling that it brings to the person on the other side who's watching. So um, let me know if this video was helpful. Let's stress less about content in 2024 and beyond and also i will leave the youtube playbook if you are somebody who is like i am about to i am about to go hard in the paint with youtube i will leave that information in the description as well as all of the info about the z30 and the creator kit bundle all right you guys i love you and i will see you in the next one bye for now